Elisa Donovan was the sassy redhead who burst onto the Hollywood scene in the high school classic Clueless. Mr. Hall, how can I answer that? The topic is Haiti, and she's talking about some little party. Hello, it was his 50th birthday. Whatever. If she doesn't do the assignment, I can't do mine. Hello? Was I the only one listening? I mean, I thought it reeked. I believe that was your designer imposter perfume. Amber? Miss Stoger, my plastic surgeon doesn't want me doing any activity where balls fly at my nose. Well, there goes your social life. <laughs> <laughs> so good. We are thrilled to say Elisa Donovan joins us live from LA. How awesome. Morning, afternoon to you. How are you? Good morning, good afternoon. I'm great, thank you. I can't believe it's been almost 30 years since Clueless. This was like my entire language through high school. <laughs> um, how much did you enjoy playing the role of Amber? Oh my gosh. I mean, it was incredibly fun. She's so vibrant and says things that, you know, I would never have the courage to say to another person mm. in real life. So um, it was really, really fun. I mean, it's just an incredible movie. And, and there's all this hype and speculation now that there's a sequel in the pipeline. We got that little sneak peek in that Super Bowl ad with Alicia Silverstone. Let's have a reminder. I used to be pretty clueless about shopping, among other things. Like when I heard I could save by getting cash back with Rakuten, I was like, as if. But then I was like, oh, why didn't I do this sooner? Okay, A, that looks like super okay. fun. And B, if there's a sequel, are you in? Okay, A, it was incredibly fun. I truly <laughs> felt like it was the most surreal experience. I mean, Alicia and I were looking at each other like, are we, is this happening? They had recreated that classroom to a T. We had the same cinematographer who, wow. whose name is Bill Pope. He is this amazing, I mean, he's shot huge movies, right? And he said, I want to come back and do this commercial with these girls because he had such a great, experience on the film as well so it was super special and um really fun to get to do that and b everyone is always asking us this um i mean i don't have any agency over whether or not they make a sequel but i do think that pretty much everybody would be on board yeah. i was just with alicia and stacy and brecken for this convention called 90s Con in Connecticut. And that was the question that was asked of each of us just repeatedly. And I mean, I think we would all love it. It would be hilarious to see these characters as grown ups, first Someone of all. Someone so, needs to yeah. write that script. By the way, can we go to 90s Con? Yes, I know. Why weren't <laughs> we invited? I know. <laughs> um, do you know what I loved about Clueless as, as a teenage girl back then was the fashion mm. and the yes. wardrobe, the spinning wardrobe with the electronic, like, match your outfit, yes. you know, match your items. Um, the fashion is back in a big way too, like the pleated skirts, all of it. What was your favourite look from the film? I mean, this red one was iconic with a hat. I do. I mean, the red one is pretty uh, spectacular, but I think... I mean, first of all, it was just a complete hoot every time I would go into wardrobe for a fitting and pe every the whole all the crew would wait for me to come out of my trailer to see what I was going to look like because it was <laughs> always so something, great. you know, absurd and really extreme. Um, I think one of my favorites definitely was the um, the military fatigues, like yep. a skirt and these big high boots. Um, I loved. I mean, I loved all of them. There was one, I don't know if they, um, if this was in the film or not, where she was like dressed like a secretary. They they might have cut it, but I had these like hat glasses and like a beehive. And yep. it was just always these, um, you know, everything. To, so uh, extravagant. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I loved it. We recently spoke to you about uh, releasing your deeply personal memoir. And, and we, there is like rumours about there, about it being developed into a movie. What, what can you tell us about that? Yes, uh, they are not rumors. That is actually true. Wow. Um, and it is the film is in development. I have written the screenplay and I will be directing it. <gasps> and wow. um, it'll be my directorial debut. Mm -hmm. And I am super, super excited. We have half the cast put together so far. And um, we have wonderful producers and we are just raising the financing. So small films like this take 
a quite a bit of time and care and love mm. and perseverance to see it all the way through. And um, I think I'm hopeful that we will that we will be ready to go by the end of the year. Wow. So, I cannot wait. Um, Good on you. That's oh, that's very I can't exciting. wait. Yeah. Will you come back and tell <laughs> us all about it when it's ready to roll? I would be thrilled to do that. Yes. You're Thank awesome. you so much, Elisa. <laughs> Thanks, Lisa. It's lovely chatting you. to you. Thanks for having me. Have a great so day. Cool. So cool. I was obsessed with that film. Betty's now into all that fashion stuff that comes from Clueless. The yellow tartan. Yeah. The um, checkered She's got like a little skirt. headband that's like oh, the yellow so tartan. Good. It's so cute. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?